The People's National Party PNP internal elections are over. Portia Simpson Miller has easily retained her presidency. Once again, I have demonstrated that the delegates of the People's National Party wanted Portia and supported Portia. Meanwhile, Lisa Hanna, who was vying for one of the five vice president positions, is out. The fire in my belly is just burning brighter because I'm not giving up and anybody that thinks I'm giving up, you make a sad mistake. Over 3,000 delegates eligible to vote and dozens of supporters descended on the national arena on Saturday for the highly anticipated internal polls. Seven tents were erected all for the seven candidates. The five who vied for the vice president positions all expressed confidence. I've always said that in politics, you don't wait for election to talk to your constituents. You prepare yourself, win friends and influence people along the way. And that has been the secret of my success, whether internally or externally. Very confident that I will be among the four. Well, they have a term, cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. I have a tremendous team. They've done a lot of work. Um, I'm really pleased at how we feel out there. Um, and as I said, cautiously optimistic. No matter what the outcome, I remain committed to my party and the work that we're doing. I've gone across the island. I've been talking with the delegates. I've been listening to them. Um, I feel some of their pain. I feel their concerns. I understand where they want the party to be. I understand what are some of the issues that concern them. I have, in my usual style, pledged to do my part in making sure that going forward we are moving one in unity, creating that kind of inclusive space, ensuring that the democratic traditions of the party remain. And I'm confident because my confidence rests always with the delegates that they'll bring me home. A major fight was expected between Lisa Hanna and one of the incumbents, Noel R. Scott. I'd never count my chickens before they're hatched. And I think the Jamaican people know that about me. In any election that I've gone into, I've never said what it is, but I'm comfortable. At the moment, I'm confident. I mean, I did a kind of exit poll and it showed well. And I'm confident that I did the work. The ball is in the court of the delegates, of course. In the end, Hannah polled 1,570 votes to end fifth and out of contention. I have been mentored by Comrade Portia Simpson Miller. I have been given a courage by her. And she said to me a while ago, you're not going anywhere. And I want to say to her, no ma'am, if you think me done, we just have come. And thank Comrade Lisa. And Lisa, don't worry, your time will come. The vice presidents are Dr. Angela Brown Burke with 2,009 votes, Noel Arscott with 2,207 votes, Dr. Wickham McNeil, 2,395, and Dr. Fenton Ferguson, who polled 2,478 votes. For the presidential race, it turned out to be a virtual no contest, although Simpson Miller's challenger, Dr. Carl Blythe, said it was a difficult race to call. Their supporters could swing me off if they do what they're supposed to do. If they don't and it's vote is traditional, then I will just have to welcome Comrade Simpson Miller in. But I, I like what I feel and see on the ground. Blythe managed 198 votes to Simpson Miller's 2,471. In her acceptance speech, Simpson Miller said she was now ready to rebuild the PNP hit with a summer of scandals. I believe Opportunities. Therefore, our election loss of February 25 must not be an excuse to tear each other down, to spread hatred and divisiveness. It is an opportunity for us 
to reflect on our values as a movement. It must be a time to make the changes we need for even greater advancement of the People's National Party and the Jamaican people. I have an abiding faith in the strength and determination of the Jamaican people to make Jamaica the greatest little country in the world.